is sometimes hard Like you got a winning hand and then you dealt the wrong card It ain't fair But you're not alone When you're down and out and your eye and dry In the darkest valley or the coldest night you'll find Cause you're not alone With a song a bubbling in your heart Or a story Give you a brand new start You don't have to travel this big bad world all on your own Cause it's better when we do it together You're all mixed up and upside down Feels like there's no one else around that ain't right No, cause you're not alone When it all goes south and life gets tough And you've been knocked down in the weeds are rough You just fight, you fight, fight You're not alone the song bubbling in your soul and a story is gonna give you a, to make you whole you don't have to treat you don't have to travel this big bad world all on your own cause it's better when we do it together well there we go there we go we kind of kicked out a little song my kid was jamming this week on a live show and lost a string, which has not yet been replaced. Hello, welcome to the Palaha Chautauqua. I'm your host, Christopher Palaha. You're watching live. Um, how are we doing? Happy Sunday. Sorry, guys. It is five o'clock California time. I'm an hour late. I'm doing all sorts of stuff today. Um, okay. We... Wah, 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 wah. How we doing? How's May treating everybody? Is it like mayhem? I want to go live with a lot of you. So let's get down to business. Um, 10 in 7 challenge. You guys ready for this? It's the 10 in 7 challenge. It's this book, Where the Sun Rises, written by Anna Gomez and yours truly, Christopher Palaha. And what I'm trying to do is get 10,000 copies of this bad boy sold in seven weeks. And we're about five weeks into this thing. So we've got about two weeks or a week and a half left of the challenge. And there is an email. It is where the sun rises, right? So WTSR underscore. I bought a book at yahoo.com. If you submit your receipt uh, to that email, <clears throat> you have a chance to win some really fun prizes. One of those prizes is the script. I'll sign it and um, you can have the script version of the movie itself, but you have to keep it under wraps. So there's that. That's something special. Boom, moments like this. It was written by Aaron Brown Thomas um, and it's gonna be a wonderful movie when we can get it made. And then look at else we got. We got a t-shirt that belongs to me <laughs> with the book on it. Hello. Hello. Um, what else we got? We got this thing. I found this. This is the Rita. This is the Rita shirt. That, uh, that, uh, is that shirt. So that's going to be a part of the gift package. Um, we got book plates. We got artwork, which, man, I, I didn't bring the artwork, but I should have. Um, I'm about to go do a couple more today. But there is some original sketches that if you look in the book, um, let me see it. Let me get to it. This map right here is based on some artwork that I did. So in the book, there's a little map of Kauai. And I had to practice making this. So I did them by hand. They're all sketched by me by hand. Um, and I've got three originals and then two copies of uh, one of the originals that I'm making as uh, artwork to be given away for people who are buying this book. And when you buy a copy or you buy multiple copies, and some of you are wild and have bought 20 copies of the book, I'm so grateful. Um, and the objective is to give them away. So if you can't afford a book, send a note to that email. W-T-S-R underscore. I bought a book at yahoo.com. 
and uh, let let us know. Say, listen, I would love to to support this, but I can't afford a book, and we'll get one to you um, because there's a ton of people who who are buying books for libraries and who are buying books for each other. So, with no further ado, let's uh, let's jump on. Um, all right. Bunty, are you there? Hi, Rita. Hi, Lisa. Bunty, what's going um, on? Well, I. Uh, it's uh, very late. Um, yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning. Ah, it's too. Uh, Why are you uh, because awake? I expected you to be on an hour ago, and I hadn't got around to going to bed yet. There we go. So. My apologies for running late and happy, happy accident that you're still awake. Um, you've been running the uh, one of the Facebook fan sites yeah. for a while now, you and Judy, and I appreciate that effort. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, are you able to take part in this, um, in this, I bought a book, this uh, uh, Ten and um, I won't challenge? be able to. I mean, we're putting all the details out on the, the site, but... I've already got more books than I can afford. Can't afford to buy any more. Um, yeah. And I don't put personal face stuff on personal um, Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. So, no, I won't be going in for right. anything. I'd like to, obviously. But, uh, okay. Well, it raises a good point. Now, there's people who have reached out to you and said that they can't afford uh, books. And I know there's also merchandise being sold right now, like a T-shirt and hats and stuff like that. That sale's done. But um, but I just want to people to know that there's no pressure. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. And it doesn't have. There's no effect. Is there's I'm not. There's no keeping score. And there's no like. Well, hold on. They didn't do this, and they didn't support that. And it's people. People have to be able to do what they can do. And that's a part of what the giveaway is. And like I said, if you can't afford a book, you can send an email to that email address, and people will send books to them. So um, it's quite a cool little yeah, network. Yeah, but, but we still can't kind of get any prizes if we can't afford to buy one. Yet we've already bought books from you, well, for you prior to that. Right, 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 right. But that's the nature of things, right? Like the book, the original thing was the original thing, and then this little, this little sort of last ditch effort to promote sales was, you know, exactly that. Because unfortunately, uh, moments like this did extremely well. And where the sun rises was like, okay, yeah. it did okay. So I was trying to stoke, I'm trying to stoke uh, sales. So it's really, it's, it's. Like a, like a, just a, a, I don't know, like a fun way to encourage people to get things going again for the book. Because if it doesn't, then the truth of the matter in the business of, of you know, print is that if sales don't hit a certain number, mm -hmm. then they don't do the audio book. And then number three, they don't really have a chance because it's all of a sudden they're looking at numbers going like, well, why are we going to, you know, publish a third book if the second one didn't really do great? And it's interesting because there's a whole reason that there's a it's a there's a whole litany of of to me a fascinating sort of uh component of what makes a book sell and what makes a book not sell um and so you have moments like this on the tail end of the quarantine people were at home and then all of a sudden where the sunrise it came out in october we had we didn't go through the book channels we went through different channels to like advertise the book anyway all very interesting stuff but it equated to, um, you know, two very different, um, two very different sort of levels of, of where these books sold. And so what I wanted to do was catch where the sun rises up with moments like this. And I'm actually really proud to say we're, we're, we're covering some incredible ground. So that's why, that's why there was a difference. I can't understand approach, why they can't do the audio book though, because you don't have to have a printed book to do an audio book. Yeah, but it's still costs money to make you know and it still costs money to produce and like um the numbers to be really honest with you the numbers the number of sales of hardback books are incredible 
and people like the publisher was like, we don't see books sell. Most people are buying eBooks. And so the fact that a lot of these actual like paperback books were being sold and bought was amazing for both where the sun rises and moments like this, the eBook. So we sold more hard copies of the book than we did eBooks. And then the, the audio copies didn't really like, we didn't really move that That's many surprising. units for moments. Yeah. It surprised me too. And so they were kind of looking at it going like, well, it just doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do it because it costs money to make. And if people aren't going to show up and do it, no, people, so, def people definitely want it. Honest, really. Some people have said they're not buying the yeah, books. No, I, they're waiting yeah. for the audio. No, I know. I know. I know. But I think it's the chicken and the egg. Right. And the thing about it is this, it's like, for me, selling 15,000 copies in the first month of, you know, moments like this was a huge success. But then when you look at like what best sellers are doing, it's 150,000 copies, it's a million copies of something. And so and the way that the world works is, in order for the hook, so say I want to make this movie, right? And I'm asking for $10 million to make a movie, it's real money, it's somebody's real money, and they got to go, well, who's the audience? How much are we gonna get back on our, what's our ROI? And you know, how can we do this? The hook is, oh, we sold a million copies. It's a New York Times bestseller. The reality is we weren't a New York Times bestseller. The reality is we sold a lot of copies of books and we have a really fervent, we have an incredible fan base for these books, but it's still on the small side. And what I wanna do is promote growth. And so that means word of mouth and that means like everybody who's watching this right now and everybody who's bought a book um, has like, there's only so much I can do. And then, and then it has to be about word of mouth and people being like, Hey, have you seen this book or have you read this book yet? Here, here's a copy of it. And it's just got to do that thing. Yeah. You know, it's got to do its thing. So that's what, that's what this was, was my attempt of kind of trying to stoke the fires of that enthusiasm um, and to deepen the, you know, if you're already a fan of the, if you're already a fan of the, of the series from Conan with Love, then getting prizes and being able to buy multiple books and being able to sort of put a little skin in the game is going to deepen that. And then hopefully that starts to send out signals to people who haven't heard of it yet. Like I do the Christmas con thing, you know, and in December, I guess, no, it was last year in Pasadena. I said, how many people, and they were there to see me, like people were there to, to, this huge room was filled with probably, I don't know, a couple thousand people and they were all there because they wanted to see the, uh, it was a panel with Jill Wagner and I. And I said, how many people know about moments like this? Because at the time where the sun rises wasn't published yet. And a very small number of people raised their hands and then a couple people had the books in hand. And so what I need is that whole room to be like, oh, we know, we know, yeah, and to, yeah. you, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what this is. This is about this is about growing the series because Anna and I are very very excited about it. We've got book three Good. is Good. almost done. Um, and we're about to move into book four and book five, but it has to be worth everybody's while. I know what you um, mean. I know what you, know you mean. What I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, it's almost. I do hope it is. Otherwise, it's yeah. yeah why? are we doing this? So uh, we love the audience that we have. We love how fervent the audience is. People like you, Bunty, have been incredibly supportive and diehard, like so grateful, beyond, beyond, beyond grateful. But um, yeah, it just, just has to be, you know, Yeah, it has to be bigger. I appreciate that. But uh, please make sure yeah. they do the audio book though. I will. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I know. I'm already like teasing you with all my little posts lately. Well, you've already, already done half of it. You only need to do the rest of it. <laughs> I, know, I know. I'm close. If I keep going, I'll, yeah. I'll do the whole thing. Um, all right, Bunty. Know Thank that you. I appreciate you so much. I am really am grateful for all, all the things you and Judy thank do. You. So thank you for that. All right, girl. We'll, yeah, we'll do. Get some sleep, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, Bunty. Okay. Uh, uh, um. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> All 
one of the things about the Palaha Chautauqua that makes you nervous when you watch it is that I can just go live with anybody at any moment in time. I'm trying to go live with somebody right now, but she may not want to come on with me, which is fine. So if that's the case, let's go to Naomi. Hey, Hi. hold on, stupid Naomi. camera. If it would just flip right. There we go. Hi. There How are you doing? Is. Hello. So I, I think, am I wrong? Are you are you the leader of the, are you yes. on the top of the leaderboard? You've, you, you have purchased an unbelievable amount of books. Which yeah, I'm and I super only have three for. left. So, yeah. You're giving them a so I've You're done a lot of the, like that. some of the book giveaways on when we people have asked for them and um out of my six although they're sitting on my five of them are still sitting on my table they're the special editioned autographed ones those are going to specific people and they know who yeah. they are i just haven't had a chance to hook up with them yet but otherwise yeah i've been giving them away on gave one to my hairdresser the other day and <laughs> i'm like I, at first i asked her if she read because not everybody reads so you know, right. it's like, well, right. I don't want to waste a don't. book on somebody who's right. not going to read it, you know. So she's like, it depends on what it is. Like, okay, well, I'll bring it to you. You can look at it and then go from there. And so she looked at it. She's like, oh, this looks really great. I love it. Do I need to read the first one first? I'm like, no, you don't have to. <laughs> I said, they're kind of interdependent. But I said, <laughs> if you like this one, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, you won't hurt so, you're you know, so yeah, I've been given, um, secretly giving them away to people. I like last week tag team with one of my friends. She went one direction. I went another and, um, nailed off the clinic. We had the hospital ER waiting. I had a physical therapy waiting office. I had outreach waiting office and one of the nursing homes got one. I asked them if they had something like that for the nursing home residents. And they said, yeah, we do. So I'm like, okay. And most of them, you know, putting a note in that, you know, like if you, congratulations, this is now your book if you want it. Um, so, and then yeah. to leave their reviews and, you know, check out the moments like this, if you like this book. So yeah, it's been kind of fun. That's awesome. That is like, that is a dream that's a dream case scenario that for us that's yeah. that's an amazing thing so thank you so much for doing that. i'm gonna you know so we'll see where yeah. i end up at the, i'm gonna I, I intend to stay at the top just so you know it's top. It's <laughs> you're like just so you know i'm winning the uh i'm winning the i think there's a I, zoom there's a zoom it's, it, it's now just bragging rights there's, honestly yeah. I, the artwork is actually a it's fun. I have like all these different spray paint colors. Um, and, and I don't know how I don't know, I'm gonna have to bring Brenda or Kelly on, uh, and they can talk about the prizes more specifically. But like, um, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's cool. And I think that, you know, in the world of, uh, in the world of, of artwork and, and resale value and all the things that come yeah. with having collected. I think it looks great. I mean, from what you did you know, the other day when you had it out and you were spray painting the one outside and like, look beautiful. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's fun. And, I, and, and so I'll figure out a couple of ways to, to keep honoring people who are honoring the, this, this contest and, and all, and directly me or directly me honoring me by, by doing the work that you're doing yeah. and making the, I mean, I know it's a, it's an investment. So I'm really grateful. You're welcome. Really humbled by Anything it. for thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I really mean it. Thank Anything you. Thank for you. Thank you. Um, really. I'm doing okay. You're doing well. Doing good. Okay. Hanging in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I just got my throat just got like a, <clears throat> a little frog in it. I got all the plants. I have good days and bad days, but um, you know, you're overall. doing okay. Sure, I'm sure yeah. you're going through a really hard. But I'm not in it alone. So. Um, you know, God's there, and I have a lot of great people from this community. You know, in you know, so yeah, a good network of people loving on you. Good, good. Um, well, again, I'm I'm you're welcome. Deeply grateful. Anything. So thank you. For Anything. Me. You know, I'm there for you, however I can be. All right.
I know you so, are. I appreciate right. it. See you later. All right. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Let's see if uh, Kelly can join me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Kelly. I'm doing well. How are, How are you? Are you? <laughs> I'm well, thanks. All right, give the people all of the deets. <laughs> what are you guys working on? How, how, what are the prized? Okay, I know that everyone sees the imagery and they've read the literature, but sometimes it's hard to compute in our day and age of fast, fast and furious information downloads. What is at stake here for the people who are submitting receipts? Okay, well, I think a fun one is of obviously the top 10 and there are ways to win the top 10 without actually buying the book. So you don't if you can't afford to you can um, all you have to do is tell somebody else, hey, this book is awesome. Go ahead and go get this book. And if they send us a receipt and say, I bought this book based on like Sam has turned in several and like Sam, um, I bought this book because Sam told me I should check it out. Boom, Sam has a chance to be like in the Zoom without actually having to pay for a book herself. So there are ways to win prizes without okay. um, buying the book yourself. Um, also, just sharing on social media can also win you like a few autograph prizes as well, like the book plates and stuff like that. So um, it's hard doing this without Brenda. She's my sidekick <laughs> and Stephanie. You want me to bring, should I bring Brenda? She'll be mad on? at me, but yes, do please do. <laughs> Brenda, hold on. Come on. You can did, join us. Yeah. Here. While she's this joining, I do have be... some of the prizes that have come to me. Like we have like Stephanie sent this, like where Hope Grows is one of the in one of the bundles. Hi, um Brenda. I'm all <laughs> several more movies. So these... Okay, so there's a movie. Yeah, I mean these go in bundle. several different things. Um I don't know that. Oh, there's a bunch of like mystery 101 items um, for that with the moment script. We have like this cute little notebook that goes with it. So the entire mystery 101 set is in there. So a bunch of like wow. the romance you yeah. stuff is in there. Um, like from the shift, there's some stuff from there to like um, the necklace, the empty tomb necklace, things like that. So that's just some of the prizes. Cool. Brenda, what did I forget? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of missed part of what you said. So. <laughs> is there a lag? Is this show lagging? Is there like a, a, there like, like an audio? Okay. Was when I was again? watching it, yeah. yeah. It, Has it caught up? I it's fine when we're talking now. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is watching the leg okay so she she mentioned like movie bundles she mentioned the little notebook if you're yeah we got a script and we got a crisp bundle uh, which has a Rizzoli and Isle script and a Barstow very Barstow script and all those movies and okay some romance you stuff which not this one but, <laughs> but some other stuff right, you're playing <laughs> I love it Ben is, ben is, he's very smartly getting everybody's fan groups by creating merchandise for, you know, yeah. each, each yeah. groups, each, each group. And I'm going to go back because I know people, people are um, going to get to designate which bundle they want a chance to win. We Most people have not stated that yet, but I'll go back next week and email people and find out which bundle they want to enter to win because I have one more week of school and then I'm out and then I can have more time to do that. <laughs> oh my God. That's right amazing you two are and, and stephanie but you two were the the sort of the shepherds of this thing you guys are like we'll do the we'll do the lifting and we'll go for it we'll kind of organize everything you started a website or the email for it you're doing all of the promotional sort of stuff on the palaha palaha fam fam what is it called? the fam the what is it called the chautauqua what the fa the Instagram oh, the, account? Well, here I on should talk with fan the Graham. Graham. Yeah, Stephanie. Fan he's fan been posting. Fan we know Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie's, Stephanie's <laughs> been taking charge of that. So Stephanie's been posting stuff on that because she's yeah, the face Stephanie, of that. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, he loves doing that. So that's so the, all of these things are amazing. Um, the artwork. <clears throat> uh, I, I have gifts for you. Can, you guys, 
Entertain, entertain the world. Kelly, that's like you. Three seconds. I'll be right back. Hang on. <laughs> no, Bridget, you're, you're the one who sings. <laughs> Go ahead, Bridget. I don't know how to entertain. Did we no, talk about but, the moments bundle? <laughs> um, like, what? Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> we'll read the we'll read the chat and see. Um, let me see. Oh, I have my mystery, mystery 101 mug over here somewhere. That's going to be in the Mystery 101 bundle. <laughs> See? There's the mug. I love it. If somebody, if somebody just tuned know, in. That was like, pressure. That was nice. Going? So, um, so here's what I'm, here's what I've, okay, so this is the one that was in the book. And my initials or actually, if you if you have a copy of the book, you can see my initials like in the water. Uh, you can see a KP. So I'm gonna do this one for my wife. So Julianne's gonna get this one. So this is one of three. Gail Sadler has one. So she's got one of three. And then there are copies the second one so these are basically handmade copies yeah Can you yeah. see them? that looks good so there's one with pink and then there's one with this kind of turquoise but i'm still going to work on them because <laughs> i bought more paint today and i'm going to kind of play but i'm going to gift these to you ladies for doing all the work that you so you guys can <laughs> choose which color you want and i'll sign them and i'll get them to you for all the work you've done which i'm really really grateful for and then this is like an image that didn't make it into the book but it's that's literally where the sun rises so that's the sunrise and those are the hawaiian islands and then um for sweet little adams he was dealing with some stuff so there's like his little that was gonna that was gonna start the adam part a little wave in the whiskey bottle. Um, so there's some cool stuff. Like, I think it's a lot of fun. And I think people will, and like I said, I think there's sort of residual value in these things at some point down the road um, as they are original and rare. So um, that's kind of, that's kind of the cool stuff about that. Anything else that people should know? Oh, well, I guess, I don't know. Just keep sending in those receipts because I want to see a hundred different people send in the receipts. That's my goal now. So right now, now and, the, yeah. and the pool is relatively small. Yeah, right? it's, we've got eighty. Uh, people, a couple more have sent them in since awesome. this actually started. So because I got the notifications, so I think we're up to around eighty-two, eighty-three right now. So it's been a slow day. So people need to send Very some in cool. today because <laughs> I don't like it when we don't when we go like time without anybody sending any in. I'm like, people, come on! It's like I don't know. It's like, like fun for me when they send them in. <laughs> And it's and it's it's like Bunty was saying, you know, it's not fair for people who who bought books back in October. But again, it is it becomes fair because Bunty could tell yeah. people to buy the book if they do, and tell you that Bunty sent them. Then Bunty's mm -hmm. entered in, and you can also do eBooks. So there's eBook the actual book itself. You can gift eBooks to people, and the whole point again is we're just trying to make some noise. Um, with a group called the Independent Publishers Group, and we're trying to make some noise with Amazon, and we're just trying to get, and what we've noticed, what I've noticed, is that since this challenge began, um, we've ranked up on Amazon. We went from like being in the hundreds of thousands of all books to the 23rd thousand, I haven't looked the, the recently, but we keep like inching our way back up um, into, and that's of all the books on Amazon, that's pretty good. Um, and then, uh, as far as IPG goes, they look at that and the minute you have to go into a reprint when there's a demand for so many books that they're like, oh, we have to do another, mm -hmm. then you've just won the day, which is what happened with Moments Like This, is which we're trying to do with, uh, with Where the Sun Rises. All of it, though, has made enough noise um, that everyone's taken notice. So we've kind of already accomplished the goal, but we're going to keep going and we're going to see mm -hmm. how many we can sell between now and, and, June, uh, 1st. and June 1st. Um, which is, a week which from is right around Thursday. 
away from Thursday. So if you haven't got your copy of Where the Sun Rises, do it now. Amazon, Barnes and & And get yeah, your receipts in by the end of June 1st, please. <laughs> 11.59 Central Time. <laughs> Central Time. And it closes, right? The door closes. At the, yep, they have to be in by 11.59. Right? <laughs> Once it changes to 12, it doesn't count anymore. So, And it is only for Where the Sun Rises, because we've had a few people send for moments, but we're not counting those. We're only counting for Where the Sun Rises. So... <laughs> okay. All right, ladies. Well, again, you have so much of my gratitude and appreciation. I am deeply Our grateful. Pleasure. So thank yes. you. <laughs> awesome. Um, all right, I'm going to get up on with somebody else. So, Brenda, thank bye. you. I'm going to say bye to Brenda. Bye, Brenda. And Kelly, thank bye. you. I'll say bye to you. Bye, Kelly. All right. Um, let's see, let's see what else is going on. Do 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 Um, I always am reticent to invite certain people because I know it's nerve wracking, but I do want to invite. Hey, Chris. Lisa. Hi. I'm doing How good. How are you? It's my last weekend of the last Okay. okay. So, on a completely completely different note. We're not talking about the 10 and 7 challenge anymore. Yeah. We're talking about you and your health. Back in the fall, you came onto my show and you were just yep. putting your gloves on to fight cancer. And we didn't know what was going to happen. And so we were praying for you and we were rooting you on. Well, and tell us this, where you're uh, at. Last Wednesday and actually Friday as well. When I was at the treatment center, I got to ring the bell, which is the symbol of being done. It was my last chemo session. Um, and it was kind of emotional because I had all those nurses around me that had been uh, helping me and caring for me all that way. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations, Thank Lisa. You. Yeah, That's amazing. I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm a little tired today. But after this, things are just going to get better. And then on the 30th, I have my scans. And so after that, we'll know. Um, you know, God brought me along through this and has everybody, including you, has been praying. And uh, I'm absolutely expecting to get a, a diagnosis of remission. That's awesome. And that's incredible, Lisa. And how do you feel? How has your, how how your mental health been? And then how is, was the chemo um, hard? Would it yeah, knock you out? Yeah, weird. It's, it's kind of funny now. So I was reflecting. So I work in a, a nonprofit that works with school, uh, high school students and college students. So the academic year is kind of what we're tied to. And I was reflecting back that I got diagnosed in August. So I've spent this entire academic year being treated for cancer. And so it was kind of this long time horizon. I was reflecting back and it's like, you know, it's funny how uh, just knowing I didn't have the fear because I knew that whatever was going to happen, God had me. But I was reflecting back and it's like, I see the scars that I still have from my surgery. And uh, I've almost like forgotten what that was like to be in that in the hospital, I was in there for eight days and it was a pretty major surgery and I kind of put that behind me. And uh, and the chemo, uh, you know, I was fortunate compared to some. I didn't get to the point where I was like throwing up and the kind of chemo they gave me, um, I didn't lose my hair. And so, um, so I was fortunate in that way, but it did, it did a number on me. I mean, there's a lot of residual effects. There's a, my hands are really sensitive to cold. I can't eat a lot of different things because it affects my system weirdly. and eventually all of that will hopefully go away. We don't know if it entirely will go away, but, um, and then the tiredness and the fatigue, but that's starting to lift as well. So I'm starting to seeing kind of the end coming and feeling like, okay, because we went on vacation and, and my doctor okayed this, me to be off for three weeks. And by the end of that three weeks, I could drink drinks with ice. I felt really good. And so it's like, okay, it was sort of a peek at what it was going to be like when I was done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I mean, and then how about the mental aspect? Did you find that you had to stay positive or did you, I mean, you said something a minute ago where you said God had me either way and either the best case scenario, but also means the worst case scenario. So were you, was, was your faith and trust just so firmly established that you really were just like, you know what, God, you got me and I'm going to move through this thing. Or were yeah. there sort of like, you know, what honest, was that you know, Yeah, like? I had a firm faith, but there, that doesn't mean there weren't times I didn't doubt. Um, uh, folks know that um, I've been giving a few uh, regular updates out on Facebook and there were times that I was like, 
like there's a song by Katie Nicole with Big Daddy Lee called uh, God is in the story. I don't know if you know that song, but it was like, there were moments that would hit me. It's like, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. So, you know, I was honest with like, I can know yeah. that God has this and still have all the feelings and that's okay. Um, yeah. And so I came to terms with that okay. and it's like, it doesn't mean I'm mad. And it doesn't mean, you know, but also, and I don't have fear but that doesn't mean I'm not concerned. And is there a piece of me going, mm, I hope the scans are going to be okay. I'm kind of putting that to the side of my mind, but you know, that might be there. And, and that's just the way it is. And, and I've uh, slowly, I was, I've been working from home half time and I had to work my way up because I had to be honest with myself that uh, I was fatigued and working four hours was about as much as I could do. Um, and then I slowly started ramping up. But my husband's been such a godsend. I mean, he's been taking care of me. He went on with me uh, at the end of our vacation. I had to work fingers, and he came with me because he has to get me, like, ready for the shower and get me, you know, all the things. And he's been doing everything. And he was the one that was, like, when I mentioned I was being tired, and he's like, mm, maybe you're doing too much. I'm like, I know. I just want to do everything. And I just, you know, I have to be honest that I can't do everything. And, and had to let go of a... I had to let go of a lot yeah. of things, you know, it's like, I'm not wearing makeup today and that's okay. And, you know, I'm doing my thing and that's okay. And we'll get back to it, you know? So. Yeah. You've always struck me as somebody who's got a huge capacity for joy. Um, the game nights, you see my, when I check out your Instagram, you guys go to games and you do, you do, you're very active. You, very, you do a lot of stuff, yeah. you really live fully. And I'm sure this was a season of of um, almost like a dormancy that that you know made you kind of dig in and had to get yeah, small yeah. for a little while. But what yeah. I love is spirit is still in you, and I can see that you know it's like it's almost like you having to trim a tree, and all of a sudden the buds are starting to poke out again, and you can tell that there's going to be explosive yeah. growth in a minute. We've been, so you know, that's it's, what I'm it's praying actually... for. This has been really good because, you know, realized we might have been focused on other things and consumed by work and other things. And now we just make the most of it. I mean, during this time, we've been to like four concerts. We're going in San Diego. We're going to get to see Stephanie Dawson. I got to meet Rosie in Chicago. And now we're going to meet Stephanie. We're going to go see the Bill Wick and Brandon Lake concert. And so it's like we're making the moments, the moments like this, haha, uh, because, you know, that's kind of what it's all about. It's not about the stuff. It's not about the things. It's about being with each other so you know you know it's funny i have to um i've been asked <clears throat> to give the commencement cool. speech and my son's graduation which i'm so blown away by and honored by and and i was asked back in october and i've been really thinking about like what do you say to a graduating class of seniors that are going to enter the world and and uh, it's a Christian school, so I get to talk freely about faith and Jesus and all the things that, and, you know, I was thinking about, like, it's okay to set goals. It's okay to want to go out and conquer the world. It's okay to want to climb mountains. But it's less important what you do than how you do it. And I think the greatest legacy or the greatest empire that we can build is one that's based in love, like how we love. How are we loved and how do we love? Um, so to hear, hear you say that is, is a confirmation, you know, from literally what I've been thinking about and working on, you know, since October. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, because it's almost like who cares at the end of the day with all the yeah, other stuff, absolutely. it all goes away. Yeah, we were doing you know? one of the Bible studies we did. I really like Matthew West. He's got some really good studies. We didn't group them. And he had this one where it was yeah. funny because it was the yeah. day where I was feeling kind of low. Chemo was bugging me and I wasn't in a good headspace. Um, and then he wanted to talk about, he's like, you know, he was reading some, he said, uh, practice writing your eulogy. I'm like, man, I'm not down for that right now. But he was really talking about, and I remember Mark Hall from Casting Crowns was saying, he's like, when I do my eulogy, what I do for a living isn't even in the top five. And I started to think about it because I define myself a lot by my work. But when I think about what's really important to me and my values, it's not in my top three to five. I mean, what I do, I hope makes an impact in the world with young people and their college dreams and what they're going to do. But ultimately, work is work and resumes are resumes. But, you know, I don't want a resume posted on, on wherever I am. Right, right. Like a list of, yeah, these accomplishments that really maybe, you know, and even if a building is or a street's named after you, even if you've done something where people want to put a statue of you, like, 
a generation goes by and they change the name of the street or they change the name of the building or the statue comes down or the road gets changed. You know what I mean? Like, like there isn't this idea of immortality through the works that we do. You know, I think it's a very American idea or very human idea to want to achieve, you know, a source of a semblance of immortality through our work and leaving kind of indelible mark on the world but really it's the people that interact with you they're going to be like i was like lisa and the stories and 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 that's stuff that gets that's passed true. down like yeah a good telephone, i mean i was like, right and and generations I, of people that you're going like, to bless like I've been a your life. Game. Uh, i got to see a student who like we've known each other now for 20 years and we've got you know friendships and things built up and i got the honor of seeing one of my former students become the teacher of the year and shake Obama's hand and do all that. And, you know, and it's not all about me, but I do have that proud mama moment. And when they do share any kind okay. of impact or that they remember me at all, I'm just like, I'm so honored to have been there in that space with you and seeing what you can do and how you can grow. And, and you know, that's ultimately the goal. Like you said, with graduation, and I've been in a lot of them because I worked in higher ed for 30 years, you know, and it's like, yeah, you sure. know, dreams yeah. can change. Yeah. You know, I had a dream that I wanted to do and it totally changed, but it really is about that legacy that you leave and the impact that you can make. Um, and I think at the end of the day, everybody's going to hit that in different ways. I mean, you hit it through, you know, movies and really moving us and all the other things that you do, including this. And, but I also think that whatever that path is, ultimately I'm a big believer, you know, that nothing's an accident. God does everything on purpose. So I know that I was meant to be right where I was meant to be in the moment that I was meant to be there. Yeah. Right. Right. And I think that, you know, even this, your story, if we were to take the interview that you did with me in October, October what was November, it, November? Like did we talk yeah. in November? Yeah, right. It was before your surgery. So if we took that one and we took this one and we were able to couple them together to see the before and the after and the hope and the fear to the joy and the, and the gratitude, to, you know what I mean, versus mourning or any of the other potential. I mean, our life it's so short it's it's um and and it's how we move through it and how we use our time that matters you know and and, and that becomes in relationship with other people and like your husband has had this opportunity to prepare you for your shower and that's something that you never would have thought of when you were young and sexy on your wedding night thinking of this you know like all of a sudden that was never a part of the plan but now you have this joy that your husband stepped up and your tribe became tighter and you did this thing that, you know, and I don't know, it's, it's a great thank lesson you. for me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you it's, for been, sharing that. it's been a real honor. And I've had some folks reach out to me and it's just, you know, I've even, I thought about what I want to do next. I'm like, you know, maybe I'll do something. I've been in education for a long time. I'm like, maybe the next thing for me is some kind of impact around cancer and like helping people get through it because I've talked with folks about it and whether I do that as a career or not I know mean, I've told people I'm happy if I've had people who have brothers or themselves or other people that are going through and it's like I'm happy to share anything that I've learned anything that I've taken away from this experience because there's a lot of people I know who have a whole lot more serious things than I have had so yeah well I mean I don't again I used to <clears throat> say I would complain about certain things and I'd be like, man, in comparison to, you know, people in Darfur who are living off a dollar a day and have hardly enough food to eat. I'm, I've got it. But I was like, but in, in the scale of my life, like my, my, my ups and downs are my ups and downs and they're as dramatic as anybody else's. So that for you may not be the worst war story that people have ever heard, but it's your war story and it's the worst that you've yeah. ever had to go yeah, through. So it, it's valid. Um, well, Lisa, thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your, your willingness to share your story on this show with me. I'm so thank grateful you. for it. And I have been praying for you. And I've been checking out, you know, making sure. And I know your husband and I texted early on. And um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm thank you. very, you very happy well, to be yep. talking to you. Yeah. It, Super it was, happy it was, to ring yeah, that bell. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. Okay. All right, sweet thing. That's great. Well, Thanks. we'll talk again, okay? Bye. Bye. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's see.
who else is out there? I got time for a few more people. Um, sorry, I just lost you all. Katie, are you there? Let's see. I've just invited someone to join. And perhaps she can join, perhaps she can't. Depends. All right, I'm going to see. Oh, interesting. Hold on, y'all. Hang on one quick second. You know, it's interesting to me. Um, okay, Katie's unable to join. I'm going to invite Shelly, Shelly and Cocktails. Um, it's interesting to me, this whole idea of going live with people, because, what's up? No? Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Chris. Hi, Shelly. How are you? I am great. How are you? Good. Now, have you ever been on the Palaha Chautauqua live with me before? No. No. You actually called me once, and I didn't accept it, because I couldn't. And you're like, I'm not doing this today, but you're doing it today. I was now, in the bathtub. <laughs> of course I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, that would have been like, what the heck? Um, how are you? Where are you coming live from? I am in te Texas. You're in Texas. What part of Texas? Um, Houston, the woods. Okay. Very cool. Um, that's very cool. Now, what do you do? Because I see you post things, and it's drinks, right? Like, do you are you a mixologist, or what's the... What's the story? So I'm actually an accountant by day. Okay. Yeah. And I started this because I have a lot of people that talk about, you know, they always, they like to have cocktails or drinks or whatever. And I don't like real sweet things. So I kind of created this because I want to show people that they can enjoy cocktails without having to have a lot of sugar. Okay. So I, everything I create, I do myself in my kitchen at home. So you make, you, you like invent recipes. I invent cocktails. I'm not a mixologist. I've never been a bartender. I just, I did it just out of fun. And that's what I did. So it's kind of perfect for summer. So are you a vodka woman? Are you a gin girl? Like what's your, <laughs> what's your alcohol of choice? What's your um, vodka actually. And here, let me see. I don't know if you can see this. I have I guess I'm considered a, a drink influencer. So I get free drinks or free bottles. Yeah. Look at you. Wow. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'm definitely a vodka girl. It's, uh, <laughs> it's less, less sweet and it's easier to mix. Yeah. 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 It's vodka. It's, you yeah. know, it's, it's that. Um, so did you, when you started doing this, did you think in your mind that you were going to be a drink influencer? Did you think that was going to be a byproduct of what you were doing? Absolutely not. I did it for fun. I mean, it was kind of something that I did for me because I think the most thing I like is the pictures. I right. like the creativity. It's yeah. not just the drink I make, but it's kind of like to show people, this is what's in your drink. This is what you should expect. This is what it is, period. Yeah. And I, I, I like the pictures more than I do the drinks. <laughs> so You're like, yeah, I mean, they're very entertaining. Like, I, I'll see it come up on my feed, and I'm always, like, looking at me, like, this is cool. And I, I don't know how I ended up following you. Or, I mean, maybe it was just from, I don't know, something something happened where I was like, this is interesting enough. And I clicked the follow, <laughs> and I just get your, your things. And, um yeah, it's cool. I think what you're doing is very interesting and very cool. Which, what is the recipe that sort of launched? Like, was there any one in particular that people just that went like that went wider than you expected it to go? Um, 
No, God, my house is really dark, isn't it? Um, no, it, it just, I think a lot of it was the pictures, actually. Somebody, I had a company actually reach out to me wanting me to do drinks for them. And so I started doing it because they said that my pictures were just out of this world. But yeah. I mean, I, I like fresh, fresh fruits, like lemon, lime, grapefruit, raspberries, blackberries. I just, I love taking those and just creating just a really flavorful, not sugary drink. Yeah. And, I hear you. And it helps because I mean, you know, I work out. I don't want to waste my calories drinking a ton of sugar or whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It, it becomes a thing. You want an afternoon cocktail or something, but you don't want to like, especially if you're working on, yeah, working out like yeah. your body. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to throw a bunch of sugar into it. I'm a Jack and Coke guy and I'm like, oh, really? I'm gonna have, how many of these am I going to do for? Yeah. Diet Coke. Uh, it's, I know my Coke wife does that, right. and I, but you know, I, that's the point. It keeps it, it keeps it down to a minimum. <laughs> um, that's true. Good. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for jumping on live with me. I'm glad you accepted my request. Well, thanks for calling me. I'll to <laughs> Yeah, this is, the <laughs> this is what it is. All right, Shelly. Talk to All you right. soon. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there we go. That is quintessential uh, Chautauqua right there. Um, all right, let me see. Let me see if this guy is on. <clears throat> Jack and Coke. We got some, what's up, Cross? What's up, KK Johnson? Loco Snickers is saying hello. What's going on? Um, got some, some nice, some nice new eyeballs today. Hi, everybody. Um, all right. So Instagram has changed. It's allowing me to invite people who aren't even watching the live, which is interesting because I'm looking at. I'm looking at all sorts of stuff, but I don't know who's watching and who's not. That's really interesting. It it's used to be only the people who were watching could be in. Um, all right, Loco Snickers, welcome to the Chautauqua. You're my last guest of the day. Oh my God! Oh my gosh, where are you Virginia. coming from? Virginia's in the house. Local Veronica, what's your oh real my name? God, wait, I am shocked. Hi, Veronica. I'm good. How are you? Welcome I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry, I am not a social media person. And I only have like a couple of people that I really follow. And one of you is you. I love your book. Love both the books. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I have Thank the you. two books and I have the one in the Audible because I love listening to it while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> well, I'm talking about you. I'm going to get a, I'm, we're going to get the yes, audio version please. of where the sun rises at yes. some point. Yeah, whether I do it myself or not. But um, uh, did no, you answer the contest? What, so when I joined, I was like, what's this challenge you're talking about? And I was like, what's the challenge? What's this? What's that? <laughs> I don't know anything about it. So if you if you have your receipts or if you so if you bought the book between I don't know end of I guess in the month of May a couple weeks in April there's 7 weeks so basically any it's so at some point in April through May right March April May um you submit your receipt and then there's all these prizes awesome. that you can win because what I'm trying to do is like get the word out that the book is for sale and get people to buy it so sort of like do a second wave of sales okay. which has been accomplished so it's been noted on amazon it's been noted on barnes and nobles and all that stuff which is amazing which i'm super grateful for but as a way to say thank you for people who might be buying a second book or whatever we're giving away tons of prizes which are like no but i'm um, just on a on a quick note well, i did give the gift to two of my friends because i love well, yes 
Well, you need- because it's an awesome, awesome you book. It's like, I want to go to Hawaii. That's one of my bucket lists, me and my husband. I'm like, we need to go to Hawaii. The story is just so amazing. <laughs> See? Okay. Well, so right. It's so go. There's a, there's a website. It's W T S R underscore. I bought a book at yahoo.com. Submit your, like, let people, like, tell them that you sent, you know, two, two people to go get your books. They'll put the receipts in. Then you'll be entered to win. And then you can get, you know, real artwork. Like, I, I did some artwork for it, which is fun. And it's in the book. If you know where the sun rises yeah. or the map at the end of the book, like, somebody, <gasps> somebody's going to win. And I sign it. I sign it. And you're going to get, awesome. like, an original piece of artwork. So. Not, yeah, not too shabby. So, anyways, the well, the reason why I use my cat's name, I have three cats because I'm just I had a lot okay. of scam okay. when I started Instagram just like not too long ago, I think in November. And I'm not a social media, and I had a lot of invites thinking that I was talking to the right people, but I wasn't. So, I'm like, forget that. So, this is my first cat. <laughs> no, that's um, Sh is that Shiloh? Local? This is Loco. Sorry. Okay, hey, Let me if you see. Where are you? There. There's Loco. And Snickers is, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere. I have, well, oh, initially okay. I had two so and then I have three. The why the, why <laughs> I can't have kids. So they're okay, my babies. So my fur babies. You fur yes. Babies. I was shocked when you were reading Loco and Snickers when you mentioned Jack and Coke. Yes. The best. <laughs> <laughs> well i gotta say thank you for following and me thank you for reading the book thank you for jumping on live with me here on the palaha chautauqua i'm glad that we were and connect virginia veronica Wait, what's your name yes. you're veronica and you're in virginia veronica, veronica and virginia and virginia. just a quick okay. note every time mystery 101 comes out on hallmark Believe it or not, I keep watching it from start to end. I think I've watched it for the nth time. So I'm just sharing. I love that show. <laughs> yeah. That's Thank what we're you. About. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Nice All to right, talk girl. To nice to too. talk to you. Nice Thanks. to meet you via the Instagram. Bye, Bye now. Bye. All right. Bye. How do I Bye. Go? Bye. Go. Okay, guys. That's, that's it. So that's the show. That's the show as I know it, and as you know it, and as we know it. Um, that was a that was a true Palaha Chautauqua in its in its old best essence. I'm so grateful that you guys jumped on today with me. Thank you, everybody who's partaking in the ten and seven challenge. Remember, it's you buy a book, you submit your receipt, you could win some serious prizes. But really, it's about it's about a grassroots movement. It's about trying to get this book out to as many people as possible. Um, so that the series can continue in health um, and with excitement. Um, and that's just from a creator standpoint. You want to know that people are reading the, the stuff that you're doing and, or, you know, watching the movies that you're making. Otherwise, it's like, why are we doing this? Um, and I love that you guys are as enthusiastic as you are. So it's, it's just trying to grow that enthusiasm. That's the point. Uh, everybody, have an amazing week. Um, Lord, I lift up these people who are watching this show, whether they know you or not, whether they know what the Chautauqua is about or not. I just, uh, I lift them up to you and I thank you for them. And I pray that you uh, bless the people watching right now, that you give them health and life and joy and that they can move in the world knowing that they are loved. And just radiate that to everybody they meet. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, that's it for me. Bye-bye.